we're going to write a program that generates the square numbers. So for the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, the square numbers are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. So it's that number squared. It's, uh, when we arrange the dots, it forms a square. Okay. This is the program we're going to use. Uh, you can see here we set the size to wide, background to black. We just specify the text size is going to be a big size and nice and readable. And we're going to write on the screen the square numbers. So that text will appear on the screen and it's going to appear 30 pixels across and 60 pixels down. We're going to use a for loop to generate them. And remember, a for loop always has to have three parts at the beginning. So first of all, a counting variable. The counting variable is going to be n and it's going to start off with a value of 1. It's an integer. The loop is going to continue while n is less than 10. So as soon as it gets to above 9, this will stop. And each time through the loop, it's going to increase n by 1. So inside the loop, I want it to calculate a variable here called n squared. Now I made that up. Up here, see, it's an integer variable called n squared. And I've set it to 0 for a start. And n squared is going to be equal to n times n. So first time through this loop, n is going to be 1. And n squared is going to be 1 times 1. On the screen, I want it to write the value of n squared, and I want it to want it to write it um, across that many pixels and down this many pixels. So it's always going to write it at the same height, 110 pixels down. But the first one is going to be 30 pixels across. The second time through, it's going to be 60 pixels across. The third time through, it's going to be 90 pixels across and so on. That should get us the numbers going across the screen. Let's just test it and make sure that that works. Okay, so here are the square numbers 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. So this is 30 pixels across, 60, 90, 120, and so on. Okay, let's use the debugger now just so we can see that that's working. So I'm going to set a breakpoint here on line number 8. You can see the wee diamonds appeared, and I'm going to run this now. I'll get this out of the way so we can see. Now, the variable n squared has a value of 0. Good. That's what I set it to there. Let's take the first step. So now it's gone through this first bit of the for loop, and it's created the variable called n. So we can see that appears there, and it's set it to 1. Good. It's doing exactly as it's told. Take the next step, and it should execute this line, and we should see the value of n squared change. There we go. So n squared has also got a value of 1, and then this line here would print it out on the screen. Okay. Then it goes back through the loop again, so it jumps back to here, and it sets n to a value of 2. So now when it gets to this line, n squared is going to be equal to 2 times 2. So we should see this change to 4. There we go, it's changed to 4. Then it would print it onto the screen, then it will jump back through the loop again. Okay, next time through the loop, n is incremented to 3, and n squared is going to get 3 times 3, which should be 9. Okay, so the great thing about for loops is that we can use this variable here inside the loop. So we can here we're using it to create n squared, and here we're using it to space the answers across the screen, like this, so they don't all print on top of each other. All right, if we carry on with that, you can see it goes through until we get to the interesting point where n is going to jump to 9. This will be the last time through the loop. n squared is 81. And now the loop finishes because n is no longer less than 10. And so you can see that our program is over and executions jump back up to here. Have a little play with this. Make sure you understand it. Use the debugger yourself so you can see these things change. Your challenge is to try and get the triangular numbers. So those are the square numbers. Remember from maths, these are the triangular numbers here. Right? So the triangular numbers. Uh, they have a very different formula. They go 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. But you can look up what the formula is and program it in and see if you can get it going. Good luck.